one of the hottest trends that we are experiencing nowadays is uh, no other than airdrops but this has been existed for years however guys the criteria for doing airdrops are being taken to a whole new level like interacting in the test net a main net minting the nft playing the games interacting in tokenness protocols and so on the sky's the limit but the most common problem that we have right now is that we are so busy forming airdrops here and there but we tend to forget about protecting our assets protecting our wallets from getting compromised and other sensitive data that we have and not doing our due diligence as well and i am one of those that are not exempted to it because i get hacked not just once not just twice but three times already that is because i have failed to do my due diligence and have lack of tools as extra layer protection for me against these hacks and wallet drains especially not using my common sense as well and i know that you don't want to experience like what i have experienced before so no matter if you're a newbie or a beginner or an average joe or already a seasoned airdrop hunter in this space this is something that you really need to take a look at because it's all about protecting your assets from getting drained so before we get things started make sure that you smash the subscribe button hit like and turn on the notification bell for more videos like this and guys just to let you all know that we're not promoting any financial or investment advice so please kindly acknowledge the disclaimer that i have right here in this video and in the description as this is only intended for educational entertainment and informative purposes just to be fair and transparent to all now let's get started guys i mostly use metamask for participating in multiple airdrops but because of the lack of uh, security measures of MetaMask, so until now it was still prone from getting sniffed and or getting manually or automatically drained. So I am not using MetaMask anymore, but of course I am using a Rabi Wallet. But of course I didn't create a new account right here on Rabi Wallet. I just simply linked or binded my existing MetaMask to my Rabi Wallet, okay? And of course, um, you could see um, these features right here, like how is Rabi different from the MetaMask, like having a smooth multi-chain experience and has a present check for the security. And they're prioritizing security over the user experience and has integrated 92 chains and supporting multiple signing modes, all right? So it was currently available as a browser extension for the desktop and for the mobile. And let me show it to you. So uh, this is how it looks like, you know, for the Rabi wallet. So I'm um, pay attention to my mouse pointer. So just like what I've mentioned, I don't need to create a new account. I just simply import my MetaMask account. Okay. So um, you could see um these steps. All right. And we have the option to connect our hardware wallets and institutional wallets as well. And check out these other features here. Like uh, we have the ability to swap, send or receive checking the nfts the transactions and uh, so on and has for the rabbit point so this event is already ended in which uh, i only have 1724 points so i think they've rewarded like the top 100 so i didn't make it and if i check more so i've already claimed my rabbit badge and uh, this is how it looks like for the rabbit badge in the d bank just uh, to show you and we could also request the bank tested gas tokens and uh, the other stuff right here. So guys, Rabi Wallet is an extra layer protection for our EVM compatible wallet like MetaMask. Now, let me show you an example on how this works. So for example, this one, guys, Linea NS is having an ongoing airdrop if you have owned any of these uh, domains. But here's the concern. When I check the eligibility, and then I choose Rabi Wallet. And then it pops up like this. So you could see there is a red sign that is flagged by scam sniffer. So it says danger. But if you choose to ignore it, so you can just click this one, ignore all. But if I were you guys, once you have seen this, it's better for you to avoid connecting to this website. But if you still choose to do so, the risks are very high for your wallet to get compromised later on. So just to be safe, guys, if it goes something like this, much better not to connect. It's really important that 
your wallets must be safe from getting hacked, drained, or compromised. And this is another extra layer that I really like the most, in which is no other than the Pocket Universe. So you can see right here, guys, um, it's a free browser extension that keeps your assets safe when you sign web to transactions, all right? And um, you could see about getting protected from scam transactions, understand what you're doing, and you're even insured up to 20,000 USD for this, all right? So th this one is already added to my browser, and I'm going to show it to you right now. So this is how it looks like. You don't need to create an account. So it's important that you should uh, turn uh, this on, okay? And if you're going to refer, guys, they have a referral link as well, okay? So you could earn from the referral swap volume, the friend's referred, and the referral number of Texans that are insured, okay? But let me show it to you guys and how it works. So for example, Omni Kingdoms, I just want to uh, connect my wallet. You can see that uh, there's no uh, Rabi extension available. But since my MetaMask is uh, binded to Rabi, so it's fine. And my Rabi is popping up instead so i click connect and let's say i want to create my player and it costs around 0.016 at so um i'm going to create and then this happens you see before rabbi wallet is popping up the pocket universe is giving me a heads up okay you can see right here simulation shows this transaction will fail and cost lots of gas fees the failure reason is insufficient as why? Because in my base chain, I did have insufficient ETH. So yes, it's a simulation. It gives me a heads up. So let's say I want to continue and then it says user rejected the request. So that's how Pocket Universe works on what it can do after you're going to proceed with the transaction. So guys, I highly recommend that you should download and install Packet Universe right here on your desktop in order for you to get protected from scam or malicious transactions and so on, okay? Another alternative from the Packet Universe is no other than the Wallet Guard. So this one, guys, it's pretty similar to the Packet Universe as well. Either you could choose Packet Universe or wallet guard so i don't think it is necessary for you to install them both okay it almost has the same functions as the packet universe but is having a uh, different interface and some other uh features right here guys okay for the wallet guard so you can just uh, simply try to check it out for yourself so you could even try to split test you know your experience between the packet universe and the wallet guard to see which one of them is something that you are really comfortable at but regardless you're having the same purpose on giving you a simulation when you're going to execute a transaction if it's dangerous or not okay and aside from the pocket universe and the wallet guard interceptor is also having the same functions here is something that i am really blown away by them okay they are not just like any other browser extension that gives you the pre-simulation of transactions, scam protections, and so on. They are actually helping you rescue your funds from your compromised wallet. Okay, so you can see right here about the real reviews, you know, um, from uh, these people in which their wallets are compromised and having them rescued thanks to the interceptor. Look at these reviews. You guys are genius. I thought this one just another scam, but it's confirmed not. The guys very helpful in their Discord would recommend to anyone who have compromised wallet. And here's another one, guys, from Gideon. Thank you so much, guys, for this wonderful product. It really helped me rescue my funds from my compromised wallet. It's a life save. They're actually helping you to rescue your funds from your compromised wallet. And of course, guys, um, it's highly recommended also that from time to time, if you have signed some transactions, it's better for you to revoke them. Like, for example, you have accidentally connect your wallet into a phishing website. You just simply have to connect your EVM compatible wallet. And then you just have to search your address from any chain that you want. And then you just have to look for that certain kind of transaction like for this one guys the sat so i have the option to revoke it okay and of course i want to share an alternative for it which is no other than d.fi so earlier guys i did share to you about d.fi but it's more on the airdrop side 
and just less on the functions. But for DDoT5, guys, um, you could actually uh, connect and scan your wallet in their safe section, like the scanner and the shield, okay? As you can see right here in my wallet right now, so it says no risk, okay? And if I'm going to scroll down, guys, um, you could see some informational risk, all right? So let's say if I want to revoke it, so you could uh, simply pay the gas fee to revoke it. So this is just an alternative to the revoke cash. And of course, guys, uh, they have a scanner as well. So we could scan any smart contract, token, or NFT that we wanted to, you know, to find out about the threats, vulnerabilities with their in-depth analysis before we're going to invest. Let's say, for example, I want to paste a uh, contract address from a honeypot token. So I'm going to paste it. And then you could see right here the result. The score is 40 out of 100. So if I'm going to click on this one, so it says, we're currently analyzing this contract. Sit tight, it will be finished soon. In just a matter of seconds, with their in-depth analysis, so um, you could see the details right here. The DeFi score, the high-risk items, and you could see uh, more details right here, you know, for uh, on why it was 40 out of 100, okay? You can just scan any smart contract right here to see if there are any malicious or suspicious codes and of course one more thing very important make sure that you have installed your antivirus right here on your computer or mobile phone so in my case i have installed the avast premium security and actually i have subscribed on an annual basis for the sake of being protected guys this is going to be worth every single cent so let's say you have access on a phishing or suspicious site so the avast premium security will alert or giving you a heads up and they will just automatically block a suspicious website so it will just pop up in your monitor so for this security guys of course um they have uh, multiple protection features okay and also have some privacy and the performance and also guys aside from the premium security make sure that you maintain your computer by simply uh, cleaning and removing some excess files by simply installing the Avast Cleanup Premium aside from the premium security. So guys, uh, that's just about it, you know, uh, regarding uh, these tools that I have shared to you right here on my desktop in order for me to have some extra layer protection against these hacks, scams, and wallet drains, especially if you are doing airdrops every day. So if you want more information about this, guys, I have provided all the resource links right here in the video description. So I would really appreciate some honest feedback from you guys regarding this video that I have for you today. And hopefully that this video helps you a lot, especially securing our assets with these tools. And if you have some questions that were not covered right here in this video of mine, I would try my best to answer them for you. Or you can just simply head over to the official socials of these tools that I have just mentioned right here in this video and get in touch with the real admins and mods to potentially answer your queries and guys one more thing don't forget to smash the subscribe button hit like and turn on the notification bell for more videos like this and if you think that this video is quite helpful and valuable to you kindly do not hesitate or think twice and share this to your friends out there especially those who are so enthusiastic regarding airdrops, cybersecurity, DeFi and so much more so I do have a question for you. Did you enjoy watching this video? As this video helped you a lot and gives value in any way? And what do you think about it? Just let me know right here in the comment section. Once again, this is Nomad Fury. And I'll see you all in my next video. Stay safo, everyone.